Sometimes it makes sense to have different headers and footers in different parts of my documents, like on odd and even pages, or for different chapters. Let me show you how it's done. First, let's look at a document that will be bound together, like a book. I'll set up different footers in this document, so the page number is always on the edge of the page farthest from the spine. To do this, I double-click in the bottom margin of a page, like the first page of this document, to open the header and footer workspace. Notice the Design tab under Header and Footer Tools that appears in the ribbon? On the Design tab, in the Options group, I click Different Odd and Even Pages. My insertion point is now an area labeled Odd Page Footer. In the Header and Footer group, I click Footer, and then select a style for an odd page. Here's my page number, nicely framed in a purple box. In the Navigation group, I click Next Section to move directly to the Even Page Footer. I click Footer again and select a footer style for even pages. Now I'll click Close Header and Footer. If I click the Microsoft Office button, point to Print, and click Print Preview, it's easy to check out how my odd and even footers look especially if I viewed two pages at once. Now let me show you another way to have different headers and footers in a document. Here's the same document I've been working with, but I've divided this version into chapters. I'll use a different header for each chapter and keep the same footer throughout. To do this, I first insert a section break at the end of every chapter. For example, I'll scroll down to chapter 2 and click to place the insertion point in front of the chapter heading. Then I click the Page Layout tab, and in the Page Setup group, I click Breaks. Under Section Breaks, I click Next Page. My chapter heading is now at the top of a new page. And if I click the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click Show Hide Paragraph Mark, I can see the section break inserted before the heading. Now, when I double-click in a top or bottom margin to open the header and footer workspace, I notice that the labels include a section number. I'll create the chapter headers by scrolling to the top of the document and clicking in the Section 1 header. In the Header and Footer group, on the Design tab, I click Header and choose a style, such as Blank. I click where it says Type Text and type Chapter 1 Overview. In the Navigation group, I click Next Section. Now I'm in the header area for Section 2, but it says Chapter 1 like my first section does. That's because Link to Previous is selected in the Navigation group, which tells Word to use the same header as the previous section. The header label Same as Previous confirms this. Because I want a different header for the second section, I click Link to Previous to clear it and break the connection between the two section headers. See? Same as previous has disappeared from the header label. Then I change the header text for the second chapter. Next, I click Go to Footer. Now I'm in the footer area for Section 2. So I click Previous Section to return to the Section 1 footer. I want only a simple page number in the footer of the document. So I click Page Number, point to Bottom of Page, and then click the style I want. In the Navigation group, I click Next Section to go to the Section 2 footer. This section displays the same page number style selected for the previous section, indicated by Same as Previous in the footer label. This is what I want. As a finishing touch, I click the Insert tab, and in the Pages group, I click Cover Page. Here, I see a whole gallery of pre-designed cover pages to choose from. I select one that's sure to make a good first impression. But now, if I scroll down to the bottom of the first page of Chapter 1, I see that it's labeled as page number 2. I want this to be page 1, so I double-click in the footer area. Then, in the Header and Footer group, I click Page Number, and then click Format Page Numbers. Here, I click Start At and change the number to 0. Then I click OK. The cover page becomes page 0, which doesn't display. And the next page, which is the first page of the body of the document, becomes page 1. Now my document's all set, with headers changing for each chapter and the footer displaying the page numbers incrementally throughout the document.